Happy Sunday. It has been a while since I've done a live <laughs> with my cooking. Um, just either I'm busy or it wasn't a great recipe to do live. So um, I am making bagels for dinner tonight and I'm using leftover ham to do like a ham and cheese and egg scramble. But while my bagels are rising, I thought I would show you how I'm going to make some ham bone broth using the ham bone from dinner that we had last night. Um, so saving your ham bone is very wise, both um, money-wise and health-wise. Um, you can get really good nutrients out of the bones of animals as well as um, just saving money. You can use ham broth and um, chicken dishes too or different soups. It will give it a little bit more of a smoky flavor if it's been a like a smoked ham, um, but it still works perfectly for that. So we always cut our meat off of the ham and throw it into the slow cooker when we eat ham for like a ham dinner. So I didn't cook down any of the nutrients out of this bone aside from obviously when it was cooked in the processing to make the ham, but I didn't do a cook on it. So we just cut off the meat that was good for eating and we put that in the crock pot yesterday. You can go back and check out that post. But So I've got the ham bone as well as some of just like the fat pieces that we wouldn't eat but they'll um, give some great flavor to the broth. So before I do that I will mention that I'm doing this on my Instagram live. So if you're watching this on YouTube you can join me at Her Hearts at Home and I will share that. Um, in the description below as well so you can come join me on there if you want to see live cooking videos as well as homeschool tips um, preparing in a small home um, and just daily daily things as well so let's get going I'll show you what I'm gonna do so I use my instant pot you could use a slow cooker you could do it on the stovetop I just like the instant pot because it's fast um, 60 minutes once it comes to pressure um, and then I just let it naturally release for a little while is perfect um, and you get that nice gelatinous layer um, if you're going to do it on your stove you're going to want to let it simmer for a few hours if you're going to do a crock pot all day you can't really overcook it <laughs> you're just going to continue to get more nutrients as the bones break down so I've got my ham bone and I'm going to just drop that in the bottom of my instant pot I've done nothing else special with it I'm literally just dropping this as it is from the package. <laughs> so, can I just get rid of this bag here? Okay, homemade broths are also a great way to use up vegetable scraps that you would otherwise maybe throw away. So I will save celery that's starting to go bad and freeze it, um, onions, carrots anything like that you can just freeze the scraps throw them into the broth today I am using all fresh stuff because I've used up all my frozen so I did get a package of some organic celery that I just cut into a couple inch pieces it doesn't matter you're not just getting the flavor out of it so the size doesn't really matter because you're going to strain this when it's done so put those in there then I've got an organic yellow onion this is from Azure Standard their onions just are something else, I tell you, they're really, really good. So I just quartered it. Then I've got some baby carrots, some organic baby carrots. I wanted to pick up regular carrots, but they had no regular carrots at the store, um, organic or non organic. So I just grabbed a bag of baby carrots, and that's what we'll use in there. And then I have some um, organic garlic. And I just cut up three cloves. I actually didn't even really cut them up. I just cut them up and then I smashed them down just to release a little bit of that flavor. So I put that in there. Then I'm going to put in, um, just drop the lid, uh, a couple bay leaves. This is like <laughs> one and a broken one. So again, you're going to strain it. So it kind of doesn't matter. You use up the little pieces of it that you maybe wouldn't want to put into like a sauce or something. And then I'm going to do some black pepper and you'll see I'm not going to put any salt in here because ham is really really salty 
on its own and I just don't think you need any additional salt. If you want to, you could, um, but also you could salt it as you need it for whatever recipe you use the broth in. And then parsley, some organic parsley. Okay. Then I have here, this is six cups of um, just filtered water. And I'm gonna just start putting, I always do that again, let's go. Start putting that into the Instant Pot. There's like something about the spout on this thing that I always spill. But I just wanted to use this one because I could hold more water. So I'm gonna do the six cups. You could go up to your max fill line if you want. Um, but I have found that six cups in my Instant Pot with the bones typically yields the best tasting broth. So I'll have to clean up my floor of water all over. Um, anyway, let me grab my, oh, I have my towel right here. Okay, I got some water in here. So I'm just gonna clean up the mess I made here and then I'm just going to set it to the soup broth function for 60 minutes. Um, if you don't, if you only have like the manual option. Um, you know, I don't know what size crock or instant pot this one is, so I apologize. I'm not exactly sure, but I will show you what it looks like. It's very heavy, but all that deliciousness is in there. And um, usually I'm doing this late at night, and so I'm kind of rushing through it. So um, for sure, let it go for the 60 minutes. And then if you can let it, naturally release the entire time that would be ideal because you're gonna get the most flavor out of your bones if you can't if you're in a rush like I often am a lot of times I'm doing the broth at like 7 or 8 o'clock at night after we've eaten and I'm using the bones so I'm very thankful that I was able to just throw those bones in the fridge and do it today um, so I will let it naturally release as long as I can it will just allow for more flavor more cartilage more good stuff to come out of the bones and if you have an Instant Pot, don't be afraid. <laughs> uh, mine sat for like six months before I ever used it because I was afraid I was going to explode and kill someone. So, um, but they are pretty full foolproof, um, especially the Instant Pot brand. There's not a lot you can do wrong if you follow the instructions. Um, it won't work certain ways if you're doing it wrong, like if your lid's not on right, or if you try to take the lid off while there's still pressure in there, it's not going to let you. So you wanna make sure that it's set to sealing. Um, and then you just, like I said, do the super broth function or 60 minutes, whatever. Um, if you don't have that option, you can just do a manual of 60 minutes. So I'll let that go. I'm going to let it naturally release as much as I can, and then I will strain it and I will store it. Um, for future meals, I use, I'm going to use up um, some of the ham for like a ham bean soup probably and I'll use some of the broth from that and I'll freeze some of it and then it's really good for any type of potato soup, bean soup, things like that. It gives you that really great ham flavor even if you don't have the ham. So that is that. I'm going to let it go. Um, again, if you're on YouTube and you want to catch this kind of stuff on my Instagram, you can join me there. Otherwise. I will probably share about it in a post later or in my stories um, to show you the finished product. So have a great night, guys. Blessings to you. All right, I have strained my broth and I first used a super cube. This holds two cups of broth on each side. I actually have two of these, but one is in my freezer with chicken broth. And then I took mason jars that have straight edges so they don't have any curve to them. These are freezer safe. And I put my broth in there. Once they've cooled completely, I'll put the lids on them and label them and put them in my freezer.